All right, y'all come here. Do you have to go to This is our first garden vlog. Vlog? Yeah. Vlog? V-L-O-G. So, before I totally deconstructed, I wanted to show what was a modern marvel of a bamboo fence around my garden raised beds. Because now we are trying to garden with an Airedale terrace, <laughs> which we will show you. So let me take you to show you what, what we're deconstructing right now. There is the terrace. And just to poke fun, she sits around chewing on pieces of bamboo to let me know that she can bust through it. I had six feet pieces of rebar sunk in two feet. And then with twine, I lashed my bamboo from last year. And this is actually part of a of a trellis that I cut down and made into a gate. And you can kind of see some of the patchwork. It's not keeping the Airedale out. Just when I thought I had everything fixed, I come back and there's paw prints. I don't know if you can see them on the video all through my beds. So let us finish deconstructing it and we'll come back and see where, where we need to assess things. So this is what I'm talking about. It never stops. Did you find something? Are you just digging for no reason whatsoever? So right now, we're trying to clean up the yard a little bit and get all the bamboo stacked back up. that we can use it again in the garden this year. All right, guys, we're fixing to do, come on, Bella. This is the pre-garden tour, pre-underground fence and shock collar for the Airedale Terrace. Uh, I just wanted to show you around. Not a big garden, we just live in town um, uh, in Eatonson, Georgia. And uh, so I've got four, uh, four feet by eight feet raised beds they're close to being ready these two i've already got them uh, tilled up and amended i hadn't done anything with those two yet um, back over here are my two well three when you count the trash can compost bins uh, and that's kind of why you got this these bags of shredded paper all over the place they were yeah, there's a big ball of it. It wasn't originally out here. These were bags up under the house. I do use the shredded newspaper and the compost bin as my brown material. That's why I keep it. I just don't keep it spread all over my backyard like that. That's part of, part of Bella. And over here, there are three two feet wide by eight feet long garden beds, the middle of which is my carrot bed it's more fluffy less nitrogen uh, more bone meal more perlite uh, so that the carrots can grow down and lily and i planted it um, three or four weeks ago with uh, some carrot seeds we got from baker creek uh, seed company and we did everything right i thought but Bella got back here. You can kind of see the footprints disturbed it. And so I don't think, I think there is one that actually still germinated, if you can see it. Um, that little bitty green one in the middle, but we're gonna have to redo those. Uh, just try it again. Daddy. What? Why can't you water plants with like Sprite? Why do it have to be water? Because plants like water. I don't like water though. You're not a plant. You don't know that. <laughs> yeah, I kind of do. Um, and then there's my rain barrel under the gutter. I I can 
basically water everything in this garden from the rain and the water that comes from that and kind of the spillover uh, when it fills up i fill up my other buckets and then these that you see there's one here and there's one over at the end of uh, that two foot wide bed that's where we take the kind of clumpy compost that doesn't sift through and turn into that light you know looking like dirt soil but the big clumps of it we just bag it up and old t-shirt some just some kind of cloth uh, and uh, make a compost tea bag out of it and let it sit in there and soak and that's actually what i water from i, I dip out of that and the one over there stir it up and every time i water um, I'm watering with compost tea and everything seems to do good. I don't have to add any fertilizer to anything. Uh, I do have some problems with pests like everybody else does. I do, I, about all I'll ever do, there it is. I don't know if you can read on there, but it says neem. That's where I have a mixture of water and neem oil per the directions of it. And that's what I spray for pests. Daddy, she wants Sprite. It seems to work pretty good. She doesn't need any Sprite, honey. Yeah, you're not. Just like all right, guys, that's kind of all that we can do for our garden tour. Y'all want to say goodbye? Bye. Bella, you want to say goodbye? Stay out of my bed. Okay, bye, guys.